Here we go. Here we go. One more time. Name the band. Mike you Ball. do? We know you're from the 90s and you're my age. Likely. Turning 30 this summer. All right, what are we doing on this week's episode, Are you Greg? just revealing your age just yeah, like that? Yeah, it's bad stigma. All right. I am so excited. I can't even wait for you to introduce the item. So why don't you go ahead and let these fine folks know exactly what we're doing today. On this week's episode, we are installing a Cascadia 4x4 solar panel on our TJ. Now, if you've followed us in the past... Are you, you unboxing already? I'm already unboxed. I'm so hyped about this thing. Now, if you've seen our videos in the past, you know that we have one of these systems on Allings JKU, and it's super helpful when we go camping because it is a 100 watt solar system with controller. It has an auxiliary output, or you could just plug it straight into your battery so that it juices up your battery when you're off-road or camping or anytime the vehicle is in direct sunlight. We were so happy with that system that we wanted to install the same exact system on our overland rig, which is what this TJ SE is turning into. Now we have the Garvin roof rails, we have the truck bed liner interior, we're gonna put a full-time refrigerator on a future episode and here's the solar panel pack to power it all. And I wonder if this thing actually gives you better mass for gallon too because your alternator isn't working as much. I don't know, it's a good question. Without further ado, we're already unboxing. So these are always so fun to install and if you like our content make sure to hit that subscribe button It helps us grow tremendously even if you don't like us just hit that button it doesn't really cost you anything Doesn't change your life, right? Doesn't change anything other than our lives. So help us out. Help us out brothers and sisters Wow, look at that now this unit is specifically designed for the Jeep Wrangler TJ They make models for all sorts of vehicles like Toyota's Land Rover's different Jeeps. This is the specific one It's for late body TJs, I believe it's O2 to present because they have the one washer nozzle instead of the two. Let's continue unboxing. The boxes. So the kit comes with two boxes. The first was the solar panel that you kind of saw, which we'll show you in a second. And the second box is what, Greg? Show it off. It is the vinyl as well. Is the, It's the pre-cut vinyl as well as some additional hardware. This should be a very straightforward install. If you want one for your own vehicle, check out the link in the description below. All right, got the vinyl out. Now let's unbox that solar panel. Let us unbox it. I really like their packaging here. Your job, their job is to keep this flat as flat as possible so you don't damage any of the solar cells. Now 100 watts is more than plenty for two people when you go off-roading and overlanding and camping. Da 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 da! Dang. That is amazing. Dang. Look at that. Wowzers. I actually really like the shape of this one. It's more like a staggered, it looks like a tapered edge as opposed to the JK, which is a big square. And they are serious. Do not bend. Hold from here. Special note, you'll need two people to install the hood vinyl, Greg and Ollie. And why don't we go ahead and add the Cascadia 4x4 decal to our tool set. We just started doing this, so let's see, look at that. What do you think? Sick. So sick. Now this is the controller that it comes with, right over here. It has the inputs that will connect directly to the wire, to the wiring on the solar panel, and then it has <clears throat> outputs as well which you connect directly to the battery as I mentioned it has an auxiliary output so you could power things directly from this module so that you don't actually have to plug it into your battery like you could plug this into a portable battery unit or something along those lines if you don't want to plug it into your vehicle so here we have that and this should make for a pretty straightforward install as long as that crow allows for it two hour estimated install time I'm a dude in 20 20 minutes. 20, 20. Here is our pre-cut vinyl. This is to protect the paint on the vehicle. Check it out, check it out. We're probably gonna have to remove those bump stops. The reason for the madness. Greg, I think they're looking for you. 
What'd you do, bro? Two aero bombers What'd you do? looking for me. What'd they they probably want my solar power. I won't do this to them. <laughs> so step one is gonna be to clean your hood. Well, Greg's gonna remove those bump stops first. Yeah, so on, on the TJ model, there's those, those three things, the rubber bump stop. I forget this hood latch over here. You're gonna remove all three of those so because the solar is gonna actually sit right over there. So in order to do so, you've got small two little nuts there as well as these are just basically rubber grommets that you could just yank out. So let's go ahead and take care of that. That's one. And two. Here. Well, this would have been a lot easier if the Jeep wasn't lifted. One out. Put the hood back down now that those pesky, latches are out. Pesky little accessories are out. The very next thing, at this point, if your vehicle is not clean, go ahead and clean this to surgical perfection. All right, we're all not doctors here. What that means is use alcohol, use glass cleaner, use ammonia, use whatever you want so that you can get a pristine clean. It, it is very important that your hood at this point is super clean. You get him, Tiger. Cleans up nicely. Now. We're gonna do that just about like 10 times. So we'll catch you when it's clean. Now for this next step, just grab any empty bottle that you have, put a couple drops of dish soap and fill the rest with water. You're gonna need this to put the vinyl on, which is the next step. Now as a heads up, the vinyl is just a bit smaller than the solar panel. This is because that double-sided tape needs to go directly on the hood to ensure that it is securely stuck to each other. So let's go ahead and get our bottle of soapy water Lay our vinyl down, make sure it's in the correct positioning, and then get it stuck. Now the more the merrier, you guys. You really want it to be slippery up there so that your vinyl doesn't stick before it's in the correct position. Douse it. Douse it. Send it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our pre-cut vinyl. We're gonna remove it from the backing. Let's make sure that this does not attach to itself and just go ahead and peel back in one gentle motion. And then we're gonna basically place this in position. All right. Should I put some more soapy water? No, I think we're okay. It's just like installing a phone screen protector. Now once you're happy with the position, it's actually kind of easy on these Wranglers because of that hood nozzle. You're going to go ahead and use your squeegee. Gently start from the center and squeegee out all of that soapy water. After your first go around, don't be afraid to put a little more pressure to ensure that it sticks. Next, you want to clean off all of that extra soapy water. And if the weather is cold outside, go ahead and use a heat gun. If you put more than five drops of soap, that's okay. Greg thinks I put more than five. You for sure did. <laughs> so you have to remove the soap, so we're just using... Ammonia glass cleaner. There we go, to take off the soap. And make sure you clean thoroughly the edges because the panel is actually going to sit on the outside of this vinyl, not directly on it. So make sure the edges are extremely dry. You don't want any form of liquid to be here because the last thing you want is for this thing to flop forward as you're driving. So you want to make sure this makes a really nice seal. Now I have used, I'm basically going to remove the paint, how hard I'm pressing with this terry cloth. So now that I'm confident that we're totally dry, now the next step, you're going to go ahead and grab this adhesion promoter that is included in the package and just go ahead and apply this circumferentially around the vinyl and be careful to not go out, extend out too much, but just go ahead and apply this adhesion promoter. Feel free to use both packets, it comes with two. That's one. It is a strong chemical, so we recommend using gloves. 
Now we're gonna let that dry for five minutes and then we will get that solar panel put on. So just go ahead and place your panel over the location, lining up the washer spout. And that actually looks really cool. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna peel back that 3M tape that's on the back side of this and push it down. Let's do it. Now apply pressure. What do you think? That looks amazing. That does look amazing. I love how serious they are about the way they want it to stick. It sticks so nicely that is never going to come off unless you want it to come off. Now it's time to do the wiring, the easy part. Let's do it. In order for the cable to fit right in that seam, we are going to remove these three bolts on the hood. It's a T40. We're just going to loosen it and thread that cable through. Now these are painted and they might be kind of annoying. Listen. Using a flathead or needle nose pliers. That did the trick, we threaded it through, and now we're gonna re-put those three T40s back on. Next step is to find a place to mount your controller. We've opted to do it on our fuse box. So Greg is just wiping off the surface now. The nice thing is, even when you mount it here, you could still close your hood fully and you're still able to totally use this area. It'll just pivot like so. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Backside has two strips of adhesive tape. Adhesive? Adhesive. Do I mount it this way? No. This way. Yep. apply pressure. So we fished the cable through the center of the hood and now Greg is, Greg, Greg, now it's a motorcycle. Fishing it through. Comes with a 15 amp fuse in line. Now we're just gonna fish this back to the battery and we're should, we should be set. That's all, very quick and easy. How awesome are our side steps by Hooked Roads, you guys? That was the last episode. Make sure to check it out if you haven't done so yet. Alrighty, back to the battery. Let's get these cables connected. Where are all these friends coming to say hello today? Oh, goodbye. I love this. They're cuties, huh? They usually are in pairs of two. Yeah. We're all connected. Time to zip tie and close up shop, baby! All right. We got power. Clip. Clip. What are your thoughts? I'm busy. You like it? That looks Time to take this thing out on a nice camping trip to test this thing out. Let's do it, let's close that hood and see what it looks like all together. Wow, that looks awesome. Holy moly. Let's show you a close up. And there you have it, you guys, saving the planet one solar panel at a time. We are all about efficient energy use, and this just made our Jeep also Earth-friendly. How does it make it Earth-friendly? Because we are using the energy from the sun to power our equipment, so we can... All right, I'll buy it. You, I'll buy it from you, I'll buy it, 50 bucks. 
Alrighty, if you liked what you saw in this week's episode, make sure to check the link below for Cascadia 4x4 solar panels for your vehicle. And make sure to hit that subscribe button no, no, so no. that your chariot can take you off and away. Is that energy efficient? That is very energy efficient. Because then I don't need to drive. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week when we install that other lift kit. What? <laughs> you weirdo. He's wrong. It's not a lift kit next, but stay tuned.